Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the brake pads and rotors on a Chevy Equinox. This service will be the same for all 2010 through 2017 Equinox models with the 2.4 liter 4 cylinder engine. So first thing you want to do is jack the car up safely and put it on axle stands, chalk your wheels and take your wheel off, which we've already done ahead of time. All right, so next with the wheel off, we're going to remove our two caliper bolts right here and here. They require a 14 mil socket. And if you look, there's also a nut here and here. We're just gonna hold them with a pair of vice grips. I don't have the wrench that fits it. And then we're just gonna remove the bolts at the back. All right, next, we're just gonna wiggle our caliper free. And I just like to have a bungee cord hanging from my suspension so we can hang it so it doesn't get damaged or kinked on the line. Next, our old pads come out. Next, if we look at the back of the caliper mounting bracket, we have two bolts, one right here and one right here. We need to take those off with an 18 mil socket. Now I've broken these free, you'll need a breaker bar to loosen yours up. Once those are out, your mounting bracket will come off. All right, so the only thing holding this rotor on now is this retaining bolt right here. It's a T30 Torx bit. So we're just gonna remove that real quick. Now make sure you don't lose this bit because you're gonna be putting it on with your new rotors when you put them on. Next, we're just gonna clean our hub up here with a wire brush and some brake cleaner. All right, so next we're gonna clean up everything, all our hardware on our caliper mounting bracket here. So your old hardware should just remove, just like that. Now I did get new hardware, but it's the incorrect hardware, so it won't fit. So try to use the new hardware if you can but for me, I'm just gonna reuse the old hardware, just clean it up. Then we're gonna take our push pins here and pull them out to clean them. Then just wire brush everything real quick. Then we're just gonna clean it out with a little bit of brake cleaner. Then we're gonna clean up our hardware if you're reusing it. Next, we're just gonna clean up our pins here. And then what I like to do is put on some brake grease onto the pin first and slide them in. Now I take the pin out Put the boot in, re-grease your pin, slide it into place, make sure it's sliding, and do the same for the other side. All right, so now we put our new rotors back on. Just make sure that you line up your hole for your retaining bolt here.
screw your retaining bolt back into place. All right, so next we're gonna put our hardware back on, clip it into place. And then I'm just gonna add some grease to all the hardware. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is put our copper mounting bracket back on tighten our bolts and torque them to 140 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so now we're just gonna remove our bungee cord and get ready to drop our caliper back into place. But before we do that, we need to compress this piston back into place. So to do that, I'm just gonna take an old pad, set it in over top of the piston like that. And you're supposed to take your bleeder valve, which is located right here and I let it bleed out but mine's frozen and shut so I just opened up the master cylinder to let some pressure out all right so now we're ready to mount our caliper back into place now before we put our caliper back on we're just going to take our pads now you'll notice one has a little metal tab one does not the one that does not have that tab goes here at the front so this metal tab is a wear indicator that one goes at the back And then we carefully put our caliper back into place. And we're gonna put these bolts to 20 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so that's all there is to that brake job there, folks. So the only thing left to do now is to put your wheels back on, torque them to 140 foot-pounds of torque, and then follow your brake manufacturer's brake-in process, and then you're good to go. Retorque your wheels after a little while, obviously, and then you're good to go. Hopefully you found this helpful, and as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.